What's going on YouTube? I know Seven Piper here. I'll be doing a um, tin opening. Crack open the tin. Something I haven't done in a little while. This is a, a, a blend that I was a little bit behind on. This is the 2021 small batch Cornell and Deal Carolina Red Flake with Perique. So this here is 10, 13,490 out of 15,000. Little two ounce tin. Red Virginia top grade red orange tips. TA20, 13.53% sugar, single farm origin, North Carolina 2020, Perique, genuine St. James Leaf from 2020. So, crack this open. I did have, um, shoot, I think, was it 2020? 2019. The small batch release of the um, Carolina Red Flake enjoyed it a lot uh i haven't actually smoked a lot of it but it is a very good blend hmm. right out the tin very tangy almost vinegar like Kind of ketchupy, but almost some plum. It's got some citrus on there too. Like orangey, ketchupy, vinegary. Pop this open. And we got like these loose flakes in here. If you can see that, I'll try to show you without tipping that over. Look at those pretty flakes. So I think I'm just going to rub these flakes out, put it in a bowl, light it up, and be right back. A little bit of housekeeping for you guys. Smoking my um, Spitfire by Lorenzo, the Prestigio. a great pipe. When I first saw it, I didn't think it was too too cool, but I went back and looked at it again and I was like, no, I like this pipe. It has a little nice little stem decoration too. Drinking some Dunkin' Donuts um, Duo. I think it's coconut and mocha. Today was a nice day. Um, we had our Christmas party <clears throat> luncheon for work. And we went to a really nice place called the Maui Tropical Plantation. They, um, they have some awesome food, great cocktails, good wine list. So I grabbed a couple of beers and uh, fried pork belly. Let's see if I can straighten you guys out. Sorry. Um, but before that, we got uh, these gift packages on our desk, which was really thought thoughtful and awesome. And um, it included some Thai tea, a bunch of K-Cups, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and some other stuff. And some chocolate, candy canes, and a little shooter, a little twist, twist shooter. I think mine was an apple uh, whiskey. So that was cool. Uh, our boss does not mind having having gifts like that. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> a couple times we had beer after a big project went through, big reports went through. But anyway, so we did that today. So I'm drinking that coffee. Um, I want to do a tin review. So. I didn't let this dry at all. 
and I'm not disappointed. This is a very tasty smoke. I used about three of those broken flakes to rub them out. And it is pretty crumbly, so I would suggest you do it over a tobacco bowl or a dish or whatever. And uh, a little bit moist, not, not too moist, but it loaded right up. It took a little while to light. Oh man, the flavor is off of that first light. The flavor is now, that perique makes a big difference. Delicious retro hill. Kind of like a plummy. Real kind of sweet, plummy retro hill. And uh, not so much pepper, but there is some some spice on the very edge like the, the it kind of rounds out the retro hill with the, with the pepper on there as well as other regular drop not 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 overly peppery sting it pretty well but the Virginias, they're nice and tangy, kind of bright. From what I remember, I think this has more of an orangey citrus note. The Carolina Red Flake kind of had a bright, almost cranberry characteristic to it. And uh, Resulting flavor balances pepper and spice with undertones of port wine, stone fruits, and citrus. It's rich, deep, and complex. It's how a Virginia flake, a Virginia Perique flake, should be. Spot on. Uh, it does kind of remind me of St. James from Samuel Gawith. I had a couple bowls of that. It was still pretty moist, a little wet, so I should try that now that it's dry, since I made that comparison, but yeah, the retro hail is a little edgy, but got nice, deep, sweet, rich tones, that plummy perique, and that Virginia just balances it really nice. So you get kind of that citrus and that fruit, deep fruit flavor. And it's been a while since I've had Perique. And every now and then I forget how much I enjoy Perique. Yeah, so I'll come back in a little bit and let you know what's, uh, what changes I've been made. All right, guys, well, as you can see, got a little bit darker quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> just about done with the bowl. And um, just wanted to give you some notes on some of the transitions that I tasted. The... Uh, the stewiness of the preek is still there, but it's a little more subtle and not a bad thing at all. Um, I noticed the beginning of the bowl was kind of a very bright, uh, bright, punchy, plummy, citrusy flavor. And towards the end of the bowl, <clears throat> it, it changed to this really nice, kind of like a mulled wine flavor. These kind of... Uh, cooked or stewed fruit wine notes and uh, for my palate sometimes Virginia's they there's this profile of breadiness but also of like some chocolatiness like a like a kind of a deep milk chocolate in a sense not not sweet but 
kind of a baked confectionery esque presence, which is something I you know I really enjoy. Who who wouldn't like that? <laughs> um, so yeah, the Perique has mellowed out. Uh, not really a lot of pepper on the retro hill. Still great flavor though, but you go from like a really nice springy, punchy fruit. Um, like I said, to this kind of cooked uh, mold wine, right? Like, kind of a, a burnt sugary undertone. Um, fantastic blend. And, and a lot of times when I when I have Virginias or Virginia Periques, I tend to have them in the warmer parts of the season or for kind of morning smokes. When the sun's out, it's kind of hot. Uh, but... If you take a look behind me, <clears throat> it's a little bit windy, it's overcast, it's cloudy, kind of a, a wintry, seasonal, um, typical December day on Maui. And this, this bowl is delicious, just just like that. So this is this is a blend that uh, is really good. I didn't I didn't know what to expect, but man, it is delicious, and you can smoke it all day. Um, or any time of the day I, I, for me so like I said I, I was like oh Virginia Perique I'll probably keep that for kind of uh, hot summery days but no this is this is good whenever so grab a tin find a tin and enjoy I'm gonna leave it there you guys hope you're doing well please stay safe out there all this stuff been going on uh, take care of yourself take care of your family I love you all. Be kind to one another. Most importantly, smoke something good, eat something better. I'll catch you later.